So to say an insufficiency of glucose intake is a nonsensical statement. When glucose is taken in, it's going to be used for energy production, particularly in individuals who have insulin sensitivity. The glucose is entering the cells because there's little to no competition in the way of fatty acids competing with glucose. So when you look at the concentration of glucose in the blood and you then start to produce ketones, it only has to get up to a third of the level of the concentration of glucose before your body starts to prefer ketones. For those that have insulin resistance, things go a little bit differently. We can bring up diabetics in this situation where they actually utilize a similar metabolic pathway to those who eat a ketogenic diet from the lack of sugar being able to enter the cells from the insulin resistance being present. The cells don't want the sugar. It's like Victoria believes that the human body is inherently flawed. Our bodies want to stay alive, okay? So we have these backup mechanisms like ketogenesis to provide an alternative fuel source in times of famine. Human beings are actually born into ketosis and we often go in and out of ketosis on breast milk. This allows us to actually grow and develop properly. It's an adjunct pathway. It's a parallel pathway. It exists for a reason and it works perfectly.